and here I am again at the Hilton Suites in Winnipeg. I've been here before at the end of August in 2020 and I had the misfortune of being here again at the end of December 2020. In this video I'll review this hotel again to see how things are different, whether better or worse, and we'll comment on some of the issues that weren't present in August. So this is my review of the hotel. The exterior of the building has not changed one bit. The holes in the wall down that way, the condition of foundation, uh, the rodent access into the building has not been improved upon visibly from the outside. On the inside, I don't know what they did. I have no knowledge of that. I have an obvious pile of snow here and the problems start here how this one is cleaned off the parking lot and when is causing a bit of a problem I'll have a footage of that uh, later in the video but I want to start here at the sidewalk the snow is cleared off of the parking lot and people can walk around in circles in the parking lot for uh, catching some fresh air and of course I want it to run why not I had to jog in this snow-covered sidewalk. Usually, I'm not entirely knowledgeable about, about the property laws and zoning issues here in the city of Winnipeg, but usually it's the property owner who has to clean the sidewalk off after a snowfall by 10 a.m. That would be typical. Okay, well, it hasn't been done forever. I had to run in this snow-covered uh yeah snow covered sidewalk hey it gave me a little extra slip and slide a little extra workout now other pedestrians i don't know pushing a stroller maybe i don't know they may not be enjoying uh, slipping and sliding especially when it comes to turning around this corner so i went around here i don't know 50 times and did i don't know covered like 15 kilometers on one of the runs that i did here was very boring okay so that's how the sidewalks look like they are not bare they are like this there's a little bit of sidewalk where snow actually is cleaned off of and that's about where the hotel's effort efforts max out so let's have a look at that one it's right here and it's, uh, I don't know, 50 yards or 50 meters, either which way you look at life, and it looks like this. So that's all the bare pavement that we've got here, and 20 feet that way. So that's how that looks, let's go inside. It's cold if I don't run here, just holding the camera, let's go inside. So let's take a look at the interior features and details of this particular hotel room. As I go around, I will comment on various details, whether they've stayed the same or changed, and if they changed, whether they've gotten better or worse since my last visit about six months ago. So in no particular order, let's start with the feel of the room and lighting. Obviously the hotel hasn't renovated or rebuilt anything since the ceiling is featureless, textured, unlit, and the doors and door frames are dark. The carpeting is dark to hide stains and dirt. So it's very difficult as a net result of all of this, very difficult to light up a book well enough sitting in a corner. I found myself sitting down near the window where there's natural light for reading. I noted during my last stay that some of the lights were not functioning by the bedside and I found one light that doesn't work. This one here in the hallway, that one has just a burnt out uh, incandescent, sorry, uh, fluorescent uh, light bulb. And it's really bad because it's right in front of a closet here where you need to see your garments or what's inside here. As soon as the sun goes down, it's really difficult to see. So that needs, of course, a light bulb, and I'm gonna ask maintenance to produce one. Other items that need maintenance is the chair and the table. The chair seems fine and it's rotating, but 
but doesn't really seem too fine. So I have spoken with maintenance people and somehow I ended up with this wrench. I really do not travel with wrenches and tightening a few bolts takes literally this much time. So of course, if deficiencies are not reported to maintenance, they, they wouldn't know that this needs to be done. And also, the hotel people who move these chairs around in cleaning and they touch it, they, they wouldn't, they, they don't care they, or they don't know that these needs to be done. So, condition of furniture, we'll go with poor. Same applies to this table. Its surface is blistering like the other table during my previous visit. Oh, the dumbbells are from the gym. They are not part of a standard hotel room. But what is happening with the table here is its legs are looking like this. Of course, this isn't rocket science either. These legs need tightening, tightening a single bolt thereabouts. Yes, same on this one. For whatever reason, the other two legs are fine. Laundry was done by the hotel on two occasions and it is absolutely excellent. I have nothing bad to say about the laundry. The clothes come back folded, absolutely clean, and they are smelling good they use either unscented laundry detergent or whatever they do with it they are not um they don't have a detergent scent sticking to them however scheduling of this laundry service is somewhat problematic i heard no fewer than eight different versions of when my laundry would be delivered from hotel staff at the front desk and four different versions relating to what the normal schedule is supposed to be like or what the schedule is supposed to be like during the holiday this is christmas season here so as a, as a result i've been without my clothes for two and a half days wearing just this bathrobe which i put back on for show and tell so uh laundry service is good but the scheduling of it um, needs improvement. I get food in the hotel and during the quarantine it gets placed on these uh, structures here and just like for everybody else and the chef goes to great lengths in accommodating everybody's dietary needs. The food is enough and if you tell the chef what you want or what you don't want they will work with you so no complaints on the food i have leftovers here leftovers there and the leftovers in the in the fridge and of course i still have leftovers despite working out and and i even ran in the snow i don't know 15 kilometers so i still have uneaten food so food is enough and uh, they will accommodate your dietary requests to your heart's content. One other item that needs to be discussed here when it comes to services, so that was food and laundry, is snow removal in the parking lot here. Snow plowing was done and it was so scheduled that it happened to occur at 3.30 a.m in the morning i have a video about it and i will uh, cut it in here it was disturbing to say the least and here we are listen to this oh yeah oh yeah what you're hearing now is the scraping blade of snow removal of this front end loader there and you're hearing its backup alarm for some interesting reason hilton thinks is that the best time of the day to do snow removal and 
listen to the backup alarm and scraping metal sound in the parking lot is at 3 37 a.m i kid you not not only that but it has to be done with flashing lights just to make sure that everybody is bothered thoroughly and it has to be done while backing out unlike on a snowplow where you drive forward only with it basically this has to be done on a setup that's looking like this driving back and forth it cannot be done by using a machine that doesn't have a backup alarm or the backup alarm is disconnected or why not the lights and the black backup alarm are disconnected just temporarily why not i don't know out of consideration for the hotel guests why not this is now 3 38 a.m we have the same on my watch and it's not being tampered with or anything so the question is of course can you actually sleep at the hotel where snow removal is cleverly scheduled around the clock well i guess that's up to you to decide that's how hilton decided to manage it this parking lot here and the adjacent next to it and everybody here on this side of the building can delight in the noise that's going on here for hours something like that clever clever hotel management besides snow removal uh, and uh, laundry food and lighting of the room cleanliness of the room is somewhat superficial the light switches the contact surfaces seem to be clean uh, however i came across this feature here on the mirror that one that's some kind of a lint that i haven't touched or hair or whatever this is sticking to the mirror there everything else on the mirror was caused by me so let's be fair here so i'm not complaining about anything else that i haven't caused in the first place but uh, if the mirror isn't clean and the surfaces are just superficially cleaned i don't know i don't know if it's uh, if it's up to absolute everybody's best effort one last item that needs to be mentioned that during my previous stay the bed itself had a mild bed bug infestation about which i only found out during the last two days of my stay so this time i started with checking the bed thoroughly for bed bugs no issues no concerns this one checked out so let's see if this bed is any good in terms of bed bug situation uh, let's see looking for exoskeleton insect remains i don't know uh waste material left behind by insects it's looking good looking good everywhere here looking nice let's see underneath the fitted sheet a little bit looks nice red box would be somewhere here or on the frame looks good no issues no concern yeah nothing there let's see the underside of this looks good of course the floor is filthy underneath the bed but whatever but there's nothing living but the bugs wouldn't live on the metal frame itself but but uh, but they would on the fabric and the uh, springy whatever uh, the spring mattress so we'll call it a thorough enough and it's been inspected enough just need to tidy it but again the cleanliness of the rooms may not be absolutely top of the line it is lacking 
So that would be the brief overview of the hotel. I don't know if I want to bother with those bolts. Uh, I might as well. I don't have tools. I really don't travel with tools, but um, I might as well just hand tighten it.